In this video, we will discuss an example of how to find inverse for 3 by 3 matrix by using ERO. Find the inverse of matrix A with element negative 1, 3, 4, 5, negative 2, negative 3, 2, negative 3, negative 4 by using elementary row operation or ERO. So first step is to form the augmented matrix AI. So we copy the matrix A to the left hand side and the identity at the right hand side. So now we have an augmented matrix. So second step is to perform ERO until we get this form. That's mean the element here must become zero. So we need a new second row. So to find the equation for our new second row, we can use these tips. If the targeted element is at the nth column, so our subtrahend will be the nth row. What is subtrahend? It's just a fancy name for something is to be subtracted. So since our targeted element is at the first column, so our subtrahend will be the first row. The element that is at the first column and first row is negative 1. Our target is at the second row. And the targeted element is 5. And then we cross multiply. So first we have 5R1 and then negative R2. And then the operation is subtract. So this is our new second row equation, which is negative second row minus 5 first row. So our new matrix will have the same first and third row. Only the second row that we have to calculate. To calculate, there are various ways to do it. The easiest way is to use calculator. So, to use calculator, first we need to let first row as B and second row as A. We do this because we need to insert a variable in calculator. Since there are no variable for R1 and R2 in calculator, so we use the variable that available. In this case, we use A and B. It's up to you to use any variable that available in your calculator. Other might use X or Y or C or D. It's up to you. Just make sure that you know which variable is used to represent which row. So, we will insert this equation in calculator. So, we type negative alpha A minus 5 alpha b and then we press calculate button so calculator will ask you to insert the value for a and b so we start from the first column so a is second row so the element is 5 and b is first row so the element is negative 1 so we get 0 so our first element for our new second row is 0 so now we move to the next column. So press the calculate button again. So A is negative 2 and B is 3. So we get negative 13. So we write here negative 13. Next is the third column. A is negative 3 and B is 4. So we get negative 17. And then we write here negative 17. Next is the fourth column. A is 0 and B is 1. So we get negative 5. So we write here negative 5. Next is the fifth column. A is 1 and B is 0. So we get negative 1. So we write here negative 1. Okay, next is sixth column. A is 0 and B is 0. So we get 0. So we write here 0. Alright, so we get the form that we want. Okay, third step is to perform ERO until we get to this form. That's mean the element here must become 0. So we need a new third row. Since our targeted element is at the first column, so we will use the first row as a subtrahend. 
the element that is at the first column and first row is negative 1. Our target is at the third row and the element is 2. So we cross multiply and get the first one is 2R1 and next is negative R3 and the operation is subtract. So this is the equation for our new third row. Okay, so copy back first row and second row since there are no changes will happen to that row. So we need to calculate the new third row. We use calculator to do this. So we let first row as B and third row as A. So this is the equation we will insert into calculator. So we press negative alpha A minus 2 alpha B and then press calculate button. So it will ask the value for A and B. Please be careful when inserting this value because you might accidentally change between A and B. Remember, A is third row and B is first row. Alright, so first A is 2 and B is negative 1. So insert this value, A is 2 and B is negative 1. So we get 0. So right here 0. Next is A is negative 3 and B is 3. Press calculate button, A is negative 3 and B is 3. So we get negative 3. And right here, negative 3. Next, A is negative 4 and B is 4. Press calculate button. A is negative 4 and B is 4. So we get negative 4. And right here, negative 4. Next, A is 0 and B is 1. Press calculate button. A is 0 and B is 1. So we get negative 2. And right here, negative 2. Next, A is 0 and B is 0. Press calculate button. A is 0, B is 0. So we get 0. And right here, 0. Next, A is 1 and B is 0. Press calculate button. A is 1, B is 0. So we get negative 1. And right here, negative 1. So finish with the third step. The fourth step is to perform ERO until we get to this form. That's mean element here must become 0. So we need new third row. Since our targeted element is at the second column, we will use second row as subtrahend. The element that is at the second column and second row is negative 13. Our target is at the third row and the element is negative 3. So we cross multiply. First, we get negative 3 R2 and next is negative 13 R3. The operation is subtraction. So minus negative is positive. So this is equation for our new third row. Now we're going to calculate this equation using calculator. I think by now you should already know how to use calculator to do this. So I will speed up this process. So we get our new third row. So until now, we managed to transform these three elements at the bottom left to become zero. Or we call it upper triangular matrix form. So far so good. So we move to the fifth step. The fifth step is to perform ERO until we get to this form. That's mean the element here must become zero. So we need a new first row. 
Since our targeted element is at the second column, we will use second row as subtrahend. The element that is at the second column and second row is negative 13. Our target is at the first row and the element is 3. So we cross multiply. First we get 3R2 and next is negative 13R1. And the operation is subtract. So this is equation for our new first row. Now we're going to calculate this using calculator. As before, I will speed up this process. So we get our new first row. So we move to the sixth step. The sixth step is to perform ERO until we get to this form. That's mean the element here must become zero. So we need a new first row. Since our targeted element is at the third column, we will use third row as subtrahend. The element that is at the third column and third row is 1. Our target is at first row and the element is negative 1. And then we cross multiply. So first we get negative R3 and next one is R1. And the operation is subtract. So minus negative is positive. So this is the equation for our new first row. Now we're going to calculate this equation. Since it's just adding two rows, so we can calculate this manually. Or you can use calculator as you want. But I will calculate this manually. Since it's just R1 plus R3, so we just add the corresponding element. First is 13 plus 0, which is 13. Next is 0 plus 0, which is 0. Next is negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. 2 plus 11 is 13. 3 plus negative 3 is 0. And lastly, 0 plus 13 is 13. Okay, done 6 step. The 7th step is to perform ERO until we get to this form. That's mean this element must become 0. So we need a new second row. Since our targeted element is at the third column, we will use third row as subtrahend. The element that is at the third column and third row is 1. Our target is at the second row and the element is negative 17. So we cross multiply. So first we get negative 17 R3 and next is R2. And the operation is subtract. So minus negative is positive. So this is equation for our new second row. Now we're going to calculate this equation. I will calculate this manually. If you want to use calculator, you can use it. Okay, so first is second row plus third row multiply with 17. So each element in third row is multiplied by 17. So we just adding them together. So we get this and then copy this into the new second row. Alright, we almost done. So the eighth step or the final step is to change the diagonal element to become 1. So these three elements must become 1. But the third diagonal element is already 1. So we don't have to do anything to the third row. So it's just first row and second row that we have to do something. So for first row, to change this element to 1, we just multiply it by 1 over 13. For second row, we multiply with 1 over negative 13. So each element in first and second row, we divide by negative 13. And then we simplify, so we get this matrix. And you will notice that the left hand side matrix now is an identity matrix. So that's mean matrix at the right hand side is the inverse matrix that we want. So we get A inverse is 1, 0, 1, negative 14, 4, negative 17, and 11, negative 3, 13. So that's how we find inverse matrix for 3 by 3 matrix by using ERO. 
It might look tedious, but actually it's not that hard. You just need to practice it until you gain the understanding. So please try to do some exercise and we will see in the next video.